Hello and welcome to Zach103 TV and today we're racing at Bathurst, uh, Mount Panorama, I believe would be the correct way to pronounce that. Uh, starting pull today, NASCAR Fireball 48. Um, I'm not sure how many pulls he has this season, but nonetheless. Still looking for his first win of the season. Uh, I believe he's gotten a win, I think, in every season. Um, past couple of seasons, I want to say. I could be wrong, but... Uh, so far, he's trying to get the win here today. 20 laps here at Bathurst. It's going to be a long one. Um, same deal as Lamaze, kind of. I'm only going to throw a yellow if it's something cataclysmic enough to where it's like blocking the track at a very heavy state. Uh, even if it is realistic enough to throw a yellow, it's just... It is such a big track. Uh, throwing a yellow wouldn't be worth it. Um, playoff deal. This is the second to last race of the year. This is our last elimination race before we have our championship four decided next week. One of those drivers is already um, locked in championship four. That is the 82 of the real gaming freak. Uh, has two wins this season. Uh, the most wins of anyone in the playoffs right now, so he's looking pretty good. And then uh, right there, second right now in the standings is third and Alexa Gaming who is actually starting in the back and with that finishing position if he gets it um, he will not be able to make it to the round or the championship for if this race were to finish as is and crazy BGD not starting a whole lot better but there's only a point sh a point l uh, less than Alexa Gaming that'll be an interesting battle to watch as this race goes on and Flynn and Rex that would be big enough taking it out Quadruped is uh, 15 of the good, starting a mid-pack, so it's not really comfortable. Right, or actually, another they're starting a, right inside the top 10, uh, along with their teammate Brandon Nelson, also a Australian native. Uh, they are 15 points from each other, and they're starting right next to each other, so that's the battle there. And then Dark X Rain, who is 24 to the back, the highest starting playoff driver in 6th. They'll have to be careful, and... Not work himself out of this. And then uh, Daniel Pauls Jr. Uh, he is not starting uh, very good at all. So it is likely, uh, unless he can get up front and quick, uh, his playoff hopes are done. And same can be said for Reggie Fogelman, who is thir uh, 35 points to the bad. Despite starting mid-pack, He's got no shot. I mean, realistically, he has no chance. So, uh, Reggie and Daniel Paulus Jr. are pretty much done for the year in terms of playoffs. But, mathematically, they still have a slim, and I mean very, very slim chance. But, at this rate and seeing where they're qualifying, I just, I wouldn't think, I don't think it's going to be much of discussion there. Um, got Darkest Rain in the booth with us today. Got any first thoughts to start off this race? As uh, I think he went uh, mute there. But 20 laps, um, 2 minutes lap time, so kind of like uh, Lamar. Uh, the only thing is, um, it's going to be the same in terms of the yellows. So if the only way I'm going to throw a yellow is something cataclysmic. Hoping for something similar to Lamar in terms of just pretty much the whole aspect to be nice. So uh, I did the test, and that's what it showed in a similar aspect. I think one of the things here is going to be pitch strategy. As uh, Dark X Rain's back. Um, you got any quick thoughts before we uh, get the engine started? Yeah, we got a. It's the elimination race. And only two drivers that's, like, I would say, kind of have experience. And Dark Rain and Grady BDG, based on the truck series. So they have some experience. But as for the others, it's basically the unknown. Yep. They're about 15 and seconds it's super to the. close on playoffs as well. As we know, Bob Ford is known for the V8 Supercar Series and its famous racing of the 12 hours of first off. And I think that was the command for the engines. Yep. And I guess it seems like this track is a fan favorite since yep, this we track, had a vote. Track was and everyone's seen a vote for it, so... 
uh, was originally going to be Talladega, uh, and originally, and uh, that was actually supposed to be Talladega Road Course, but I listed it incorrectly on the schedule, and I I went ahead and did the whole hit the whole rigmarole. So here we are at Bathurst after a vote and all that. And next week, Crown Champion. Sure to watch out for that. We're gonna go green here at Bathurst for the first time in CCS history in the Aussie Ellie. part of the world. Yep, the land down under is I couldn't say <laughs> waiting for the flag man, I don't even see him. But we are green at butt first as we see NASCAR Thunderbolt sitting into turn number one. Looks like the 42 didn't have that great of a start there in the back, but he's gotten turn one mastered. I wouldn't say mastered, but clean. So hopefully these guys make it through lap one. If not, uh, Rip Bozos, I guess, as the nine car takes a very decisive lead very early in the race. Granted, I know it's only lap uh, whatsoever, but he had a really decent start there. Um, well, he had a good uh, start. Yeah, and I think track position is really important in this track. Very big track, and any mis Ooh. the very if you're very easy to make a mistake, and if you make a mistake too bad, it'll cost you. Especially with the walls being so close here, it's a very challenging, difficult race track here at Mount Pan Panor. Ah, I can't speak. Yeah, you're gonna say Botfer at this point. Bothurst, uh, whatever they yeah, call Bothurst. it. Yeah, Bothurst. <laughs> Mount Panorama, Bothurst, you name it. Yeah, so far, the, whatever they the call this area of the track. And we are to the most dangerous part, what I like to call the Wall of the Champions, because this is literally the most trickiest part of the track, and it looks like everyone makes it clean. Well, on this part, at least. Yep. We're not even through lap one yet. Ooh, nine car did not have a great corner. He's going to miss it and hit the wall a little bit. That's going to let the 64 Jacob Shangle go to the bottom. Fun fact, I think Jacob Shangle actually has two wins this season, if my calculations are correct. He won at Iowa, and you think he won... Actually, no, I don't think he has won recently. It might be bad. might be incorrect with that. But uh, Battle for the League coming into the this uh, next few set of quarters is a 6-4 Jacob Shangle. How's that pole sitter going to take the lead? Shangle's like, so you're telling me there's a chance by a little mistake by Fireball. Yeah, a little mistake. Took the corner too deep, and he's got a little bit of damage as well, so that's going to hinder him quite a bit unless he's able to get around back around the 64 car. And If and when they do take pit stops, it's going to be another thing to note. Uh, I was doing the test. Uh, we seen actually, uh, I seen a few guys be able to make it to the end on gas, so it's gonna be really close on how these guys strategize. Because when you're up front, you're not saving a whole lot. Well, actually, you might be, but at the end of the day, it's gonna be who's saving, who's not saving, and who's gonna have the better dividend. It's gonna be really interesting to see how that goes. And uh, we're gonna go and check the standings, see if everyone survived left one. If not, that's okay. I'm not going to take back and look. It looks like the 97 and the 22 uh, may not have. The 97 has very bad luck uh, as of late with these starts. Uh, as he's not running too great right now. And the 20 and 30 likes the game has had no net gain at all. And that 20 car only passed. He's been he's got a few cars back Ooh, here. Oh, not a wee bit. Yeah, some of these He's cars back paid. here uh, may be having issues. And it looks like Daniel Polis Jr. did not survive lap one. That is his playoff hopes in the dust. There's Riley oh. Gorse there in the 16. A little bit he of damage. Those. So we've had some cars in the mid-pack already having some damage. So that's one thing. No, that's more spots for uh, Third Alexa Gaming, however. So uh, hopefully they uh, manage. Um, so looks like only one car out in lap one. Or that, or that, or other than that, I can't speak. Uh, everyone will, mostly survived. I will say one thing about this track. This track is known for reliability issues, so... Oh. You hit the wall too much, it will damage your car a lot more than any other road course. Yeah, he's, this, little, he's little taps off that one corner is the only issue we're having is John Ard was just hit a little hit in the wall there. Honestly, he, he, was, he had a really strong playoffs. Unfortunately, he's not in them right now. Otherwise, yeah, he'd be a very good uh, championship four contender at this moment. Uh, even with his performance throughout the round, I think he would uh, still have a pretty decent shot. I uh, believe the entire... Uh, other than that, uh, so I think it is safe to say at this moment that Daniel Polis Jr. and now Reggie Fogelman, as uh, we're two laps into the race, he is not going to be able to catch up 
or get enough points to have any shot at the championship four. So their hopes are done. Daniel Paulus Jr. and Reggie Fogelman. But the hopes are still alive for Dark X Rain and Brandon Nelson, who are still below the cut line, and both of which inside the top ten. But so is Quadruped. But the one guy I got to watch is uh, the 20 of Third Alexa Gaming, who is one of the last running cars on the track. And only came to this race, uh, I believe, 26 to the good. And other than that, it was uh, Crazy BGD, who was barely to the good either. And he's only 10 spots better. So that's going to be an interesting thing to see. I can't really calculate here based off pure guess, but I know the 5 and the... Uh, 22 are out, and I know the 82 is in based on points. But other than that, uh, it's going to be really dependent on who finishes, where, and how. And it's going to decide how this goes. Looks Ooh. like uh, Australian Jonah native. Jonah a little bit of wall riding yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Australian native Jonah Burridge voting for this track. It's the first time he's ran in the CCS at the home track. Got a little bit of side damage. Might have gotten involved in a little uh, tangle on lap one. Or as and is. it looks like Riley Gore just retired. Yeah, we've seen him. He no. was slow on the track, and so is uh, the 48. They were slow on the track, so it makes sense as they call the day. Not a wee was in. I think, I think some of them must have the damage on the first one, but we may have to review that when this is over, because we didn't actually get to see what happened. Maybe. Yeah, because I think it's the same thing happened to Tony Hans Gaming as well. Such a big track. I actually, go, go ahead and go back to lap one. See what happened to the 22. I believe it was coming to the end of uh, this lap here. It might have been catastrophic. Oh, this was all the way back oh, here. Uh, yeah. coming, coming off the last, coming into the last corner. So Paulus Jr. Looks like Zion had some issue there. Oh, Zion missed oh, the corner. Oh, the in the back of. And Eli, and then 16 <laughs> of the 22 both hit the wall, and then the 48 in order to go. Yeah, none of these guys anywhere had anywhere to go. Some damage here and there. So a lot of cars to watch that have damage as well. Um, but other than that, Daniel's, Dan Pulse is done for the day. And so those so are the cars. But we just call it a local yellow for now since they didn't really made a big pile up or anything. Yeah, it, it was a crash that was fairly bad, but it I don't I'm not gonna throw a yellow for it. Yeah, we just call it a local yellow, I guess. We'll keep our uh, ticker up and our standings up to show the bottom half of the list just to keep an eye on it. Because this is a big track. It's it's a big event. Second to last race of the season. Good way to end it. Jacob Shingle. Again, Roach Racing has had a very late season. Very big resurgence for their team in both series, actually. And uh, the NCCRS was able to get one of their drivers in the Champ 4. They're going to be battling for a championship next week in the NCCRS. And uh, the Cup Series is not going to be able to say the same, but... Um, still very strong late season surge for that team in both series. Uh, that, uh, definitely nothing to shun at considering they've had a f fairly down year. And uh, just something to watch for next year. See if they'll be able to pull that momentum forward and they have any drivers. Whoa. The P 99 is about a minute behind, so he definitely has damage. Yeah, we know he has damage. I'm not sure if he's had to go to pit road or not with that damage. Uh... But he's definitely uh, he was... not up to pace right now. We know he has a little bit of side damage from in that wall. Not sure if it's engine or not. You didn't know he pitted early, so we never know. We know the uh, 48 it did come out of pit road, so they're still running. The 16 is done. Uh, the 9, 99 also did come to pit road, so that's why they're so far back. The 48 hasn't had any time on the track, so they're likely going to be a lap down. Uh, their race is pretty much done in terms of competitiveness because uh, I'm not throwing a yellow at this track. <laughs> yeah, as we see, not a weave and... Yeah, he's about oh, to go to another left down. It is, looks like our first pit stop of the day is going to go to the 9. Let's see what this strategy does with him. He's going to try to pit early. That way he doesn't have to pit later along with Yoiko in the 51. And Dark X... or No, not Dark X. Sorry, the 82 of uh, Gaming Freak who's locked in. No risk there, and the 51 of you other guys. Jonah Bird as well, and Bobby Isaac in the back. Yeah, it saves them from making another pit stop. And for the other one, they're going to try to stretch it out. This could really... So uh, this... It looks like uh, the 9's is going to get a quick fuel dip there. 
I think it's a really great strat by the nine car. Ooh, um, well, man, that's get past we'll just have to see no. uh, once this all cycles out. As uh, he did net gain over the 97, who was just far back on pace. Now, granted, the nine also, or the 97 also had uh, <laughs> some crazy record points. Just had a terrible season ever since they got eliminated from the playoffs. Bang, they've they're still ahead of the 20. Despite, I think the 20 just has a really bad setup at this track. That or they are just not good here. Something like that. So who is our current leader at the moment? Jacob Shangle. The question is if if and when he's going to pit. So we know these guys are going to pit at least, I think, once. Maybe Some of these guys may be, maybe will stay out. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, the issue is if you stay out too much, you're going to run out of gas. Yeah, and some of these guys might make it. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but I know some of these guys have to pit. We've seen a pretty good chunk of guys pit there, especially the nine car. Huge advantage there. Just only guy in that group area of the track. Got a lot of clean air, and he came out with a lot of clean air as well. So I think if if it comes down to that, he has an advantage. But just it's really dependent on if he's able to get enough time on those tires versus uh, how this pit stops going to go for these this next round of pit stops, and uh, if and if and when they're going to pit. They could they try pitting later. They could try pitting later in the race, like uh, like way later in the race, but we may never know. It's confirmed to be a lap down now, so I think Shingle's gonna try to stretch it out. Forty eight damage. At least try to get out of the way. <coughs> what? See what Shingle does as we see her top ten at the moment. Both road racing cars, uh, both inside the top 15. Very good run for those cars today. Place being Bird. Has two wins this season, got eliminated from playoffs, unfortunately, but uh, still a good driver. Definitely yeah, finished his race on a high note. Yep, definitely trying to end the season on a high note. He's going to be going to a new team next year. Uh, unfortunately, he has not been able to uh, keep with the team in the Cup Series. Uh, He's had to switch through several teams in the Cuff Series ever since uh, Ronnie Racing originally left and uh, went to Ford. Went to Reggie's team this year, and uh, he's going to go to another team next year. So hopefully uh, this next team he's going to be joining uh, is going to be more loyal to. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, yeah. But other than that, he has been able to accumulate uh, two wins a season. I think two wins a season in both in every se or no he's been able to accumulate at least a win a season and oh and he's gets in the wall there a little bit a win a season in every uh, season he's been in in both series either series I'd rather say two wins this year <laughs> win last year and I believe two wins in his uh, in zero season that he ran only ran one by the way oh we can see a dive down for the he looked good but it goes back in line. Him versus Roach for position. Roach is the two wins this season as well. One at Charlotte and Pocono. Both late 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 race uh late season surge, we're talking about that. Both in the playoffs, so unfortunately he uh, at this point I don't think he'd have enough points to be in the playoffs regardless, but still uh, kind of a bummer feeling he could have maybe had a better shot as it looks like twenty four coming down the pit road. He's solo. So far they're like the only one at the moment. We'll see how that strap figures out. Again, a lot of racing left to go, and we won't really know how all these strategies um, formulate and until I think later. And the nine right there just coming. Oh, yeah, he's really, uh, he's yeah, really that's coming. the nine. Already around the 24. I mean, granted, the 24 was already behind in position, but it just goes to show. I think pitting earlier wasn't, the bad, wasn't that bad of a strat. Granted, he hasn't gained a lot of time on the 97. That's something. I'm not sure what to think about that. <laughs> Again, we'll just have to see. We'll have to see how these pit stops figure it out and uh, how everyone's doing at the end of this race, really. That few people are officially now a minute behind. Let's see who. Oh, there we are. 
So he's currently 35th. But Exxon is currently... Hmm. Hard to tell till they get back to the line. Yeah, because they had to pit that time as well. And they, uh, they lost even more on pit road, so... It's also dependent on if and when the 64 pitted, which I don't think they did. Mm, I don't think yet he has it. So he's definitely stretching it out. Well, no, it's fun, funny to see uh, XO and uh, Chef Squid here. They had a very interesting battle in 2022 for the uh, Deck 1 through 2 400 that year. Eventually, XO actually got the upper hand that, that time, and uh, it's his only CCS win for XO was the Last year's Zach 103 TV 400 has, and that was rookie year, hasn't really shown anything this season. He's also going to a new team next year, try to find some different speed as that team really hasn't worked out for him. And I will say that team has had speed, as seeing both their drivers are currently on the plus side in the round of eight coming into this race, and one of them locked in the champ four. So the team, I think, has everything figured out. We'll see if the 32, oh, is he at the wall there? <laughs> They're going to give an opportunity for Chef Squid. As I think they're side by side. Oh yes, they are. One thing we said earlier: one mistake, someone might take advantage of it. Ooh, the slide. Just was going to send it. Sent it deep. Made it work. Alina goes into the grass, and he goes back out. But I thought I'm still holding on with him, though. Yep. Look, so what else is on? Well, Cordy BDD is now on pit road with Gar. Yep. A couple cars coming in pit road. So it's very sparingly how these guys pit. Looks like a. Uh, looks like a, the nine of uh, an S Forty Eight might have had some issues. Oh, he hits the wall there <laughs> off pit road. Uh, looks like he might be having some issues there in that nine car. Yeah, he's already pitted once. So he's uh, pitting again. Oh. It might have had some issues there in that nine car. I'm not really sure what, but uh, that's probably going to cost them the win. Unfortunate. I don't even think they let a lap. Mm, it's been mostly the... Well, he did earlier, and then... I think right now is what the... Who is, who's the leader right now? Uh, it looks like uh, Jacob Shingle's still holding it. Yeah, the two second lead over to the 67. And I don't think these. No, they haven't pitted yet either. Yep, and that, they had an opportunity to pit right there and they decided against it. Yeah, we're great. Keep yeah, in mind, we're not even halfway each. yet. So there's some of these guys. And you don't have to be halfway to make it to the end. I think that nine car might have pitted too early and mixed calculator strategies, my guess. Uh, they might have had an issue to damage or something. Uh, you, who knows? Yeah, yeah. Can you pin it twice? Regardless of the, <coughs> pardon me. Regardless of the matter, though, it cost them a ton of time. Let's see. So and quite right possibly now, the win. Brandon Nelson's our highest playoff driver, and he's currently seventh. Yep, he hasn't pitted yet. Well, oh, actually, uh, quadruped. Quadruped oh, would be the so highest runner. Okay, so he's okay, so he's fifth. This is gonna so strategies are gonna determine who's makes it in, who's out. Yep. And some of these guys, keep in mind, may make it to the end. Not sure who, not sure uh, what, but some of these guys will try. As they see these guys slipping and sliding on these tight turns. That's gonna heat up the tires too, and uh, the more you do that, the more your tires get used up. Uh. Uh, the harder it is for you to drive, and uh, you might end up hitting the wall or something. So uh, it's going to be something these guys are going to have to watch as well. Probably so, because these guys are dead with against the wall going to the downhill section. Which I like to call the wall of champions, because... Not everyone's able to make without getting a cord on damage. Yep. Because also sitting and sliding. Jessica at the top <laughs> five run today. Ooh. Hmm, some made it off. Nelson just gives a little bit of a wall of kiss. I don't think anyone really hit it. Not, not badly, just a little rub. 
That's a gentle little tap. But so far, he's holding on in seventh. As we see... Yeah, as he goes into the grass. Like at the bottom of the... I don't think we had any takers this time. Yeah, the ninth went from being the leader at the beginning. Now he's down to 36. Actually, we did have some Everything tickers, 71 dying. to 89. But, oh, yeah. yeah, Fireball is falling back to uh, 36th. Uh, not a very great spot right now. Of course, keeping in mind some of the cards that have damage and uh, some other cards that had damage in 71 and the 89 have to pit, a, pit here uh, with damage already, so uh, that's going to hurt them for sure. And, of course, the 9 not having a good run. The 13 might have had a bad pit stop because he's back here as well. I think he pitted a couple of laps after Rain pitted. Very possible. Cause I don't know if he, cause I don't think he has any damage. Well, I mean, he actually Could does have some right side damage. That might have been the one reason he came down to pit road, but hmm. it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. But uh, we'll see how that all figures out. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to cost him a good position in BGD. Lost quite a few, I wouldn't say he lost a whole lot of spots, not 13, but a uh, net loss for sure if he can't get that ground back up. So far, the 71 is almost all up down, 89, 70 is a minute behind. It looks like Jonah. He dropped down to 35th. Yeah, we remember Jonah, he had that uh, damage there early in the race. He's still he dropped down. Yep, he's dropping down. I don't think it counted his time yet, so he might have had to pit this time for damage or something. Perfect. Who knows? Yep, that's he, updated he, time he, right yep, there. Well, just like the VA Civil Car Series, strategy also picked up in this series as well. Yep. Since they're nearly identical to the Cup Series. As now we see 71, 89, and goes a lap down. Yeah, they went down uh, la last time around on pit road. And, oh, they're pitting again? Oh, that's odd. We... They might... Oh, they pitted us for not... fuel. Uh, they already pitted once. I'm not sure why they're pitting again. That is interesting. They, the thing they, 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 they might have sped on pit road. Uh, who knows? I'll check the penalties after the race. They may have had a pit road penalties. Hmm. I would say it's questionable because you get a penalty, I don't think you're able to get to fuel or do a stop and go. Uh, who knows, but I just don't think pitting twice here is a strat. I mean, they're losing a ton of time doing that. Even if that is a strat, I don't think it's a good strat at all. Granted, they also have a lot of damage. So they might have gotten some damage there after they came off pit road. It, combination, I don't, I don't really know. The only way this is going to pay off if the drivers in front runs out of fuel. Other than that, that is questionable. Because we're literally at 11 laps to go. And I think our leader is still the 70 something. Because I don't think these guys pit it yet. Uh, let's see. Uh, yep. uh, he, uh, yeah, the, 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 we're about halfway. This We're past halfway this time, so. It is definitely 10 laps to go now. Yeah, if anyone pitting here would split it in half. Granted, I think these guys could still stay out. Granted, the 464 has quite the gap. They could save up their stuff too and not even have to pit, depending on their whole strat. I'm not really entirely sure how they have this all strategized. Some of these AI just don't have strategized very well at all. Trying to, I don't think pit two stop strat is going to work at all. We only, have, I think we're only seeing like two or three people try it, but. Still, it's not a great strategy. Uh, he's not going to come to pit road this time. He's going to stay out some more. He's staying all the way out. I mean, might as well when you have a... I think you have a three or five second lead over... What was in the second? Uh, it's a two second lead over Sean Ard. 67. Oh, that's... Yep. 
Shonard is second, and then behind him is... If Jordan. Look at Riley Gorse. No, Riley Gorse is actually out of the race. Oh, that's uh, Jeff Jordan then. Or did that guy's keys look the same? Yep, they both do look the same. In fact, they are the same. <laughs> and there's fourth and fifth, and that's quarter bit our top playoff driver who also not haven't pitted yet. Yeah, if we look at Justin Strauss. Quadruped is having the exact run he needs right now. His and question behind. is, uh, where will he end up after the pit stops is my only question. Yeah, because some of the guys that pitted earlier, if they got enough gas, they can make it to the end. And I'm assuming better tires, too. Yeah, it's a whole flip of a coin, really. <laughs> Uh, for myself and the rest of this field, I don't really have a clue how they have it strategized out, but I, like I said, I don't think a two-stop strat's going to work, so they may have gotten damaged or something. Those cars Ooh. that have pitted multiple times, something of that nature <laughs> that have caused them to pit a couple times. Maybe a penalties, I'm not sure. I'll have to check the export. Could be penalties, or some people like to call it the undercut. You pit early, you don't have to pit later. Make to the end, or I don't know how strategy works at a road course like this. Some start shorter to make it to the end, some start longer to. It is really complicated, these road course strategies. Hopefully, some pays off for the rest. But for now, Quadruped is in the position. Uh, highest running playoff driver right now. Or... Still no pit stop by them yet. They might, they might not pit. Uh, the, some of these guys may have... Oh, never mind. The leader pitted. Uh, 64 James Shangle. In pit road. And I think Jeff Jordan may have pitted. Yep. No, it's nope, not Jeff Sean Jordan. Arden. So Jeff Jordan will assume the lead. As Sean Art is pitted. No, this is going to come down... Like, some people, they did stretch it, but... If you stretch it too much, you're going to run out of gas. Some of these guys might. We'll have to see. 13 laps on one tank of fuel. 67 uh, getting out before the 64. I think uh, 64 is getting more gas. Or actually, no, I think they may be having some issues there on the uh, tire change. It doesn't look like they've let the jack down yet. Very catastrophic stuff for that 64 if that's the case. They might have been, trying to, get, they might have been trying to just get enough fuel to make it to the end. Is it 67? Man. Maybe doing that two-stop strap, <coughs> which is dumb in my opinion. Either we'll that see. or the complete brake failure. Does it also remember reliability also factor in this type of race? Uh, I don't think it says anything weird for the 64. Also, yeah. That was a longer pit stop than usual, even for real court standards. Yeah, Sean R gained a ton of time on him. Jeff Jordan uh, hit all of them, naturally. I think Jessica is soon second place. Very quickly trying to close that gap to the 42. Making some success up from it. Let's see. Is she gaining? Or hard to tell. Could those two literally stayed out. So they might be pitting this lap. Yeah, they may still try to stretch it. <laughs> I don't know if I mean, she... that would go. Keep in mind, some I mean, of these guys in the back are able to save a little bit more fuel because they're not... Some of them aren't just in passing mode, if that makes sense. Yeah. And don't be surprised we see one or two guys maybe be able to stay out and finish this thing uh, without having to go to pit road for just saving a little bit of gas here. <laughs> so they're going to get the late for Strauss. Uh, yeah, uh, she's going to take the lead as uh, Geff Jordan has now come to pit road along with Dripsy Shive. There's going to be some interesting strategy going on. See how this... The fact there is going to see how this is going to all plays out. Cause this is some very... This is very interesting. 
I think it's Strauss is there. So where he is? Yep, she's gonna assume the lead. I think uh, Quadruped's still in second, and I think third place is uh, NH. Uh, I would say surprisingly, he's had some decent road course speed. Then Brennan Nelson Zevil around over top five. If I'm right, you should be pitting next with the rest of the field who stayed out. Close. Well, these guys are cutting it close on gas. <laughs> who knows? <laughs> the third are definitely more loser than they was at the beginning. The car's getting a little more oh, loose. No. I'm not really uh, wanting to press the caution button either. Because <laughs> it'd have to be something absolutely cataclysmic. I'm not going to throw it out for someone blowing a motor or running out of gas. I don't. I think we passed the cosmetic part at the moment since they all sprung out. Yep. So I think we're good without any yellows. Ooh, wait a minute. I thought I saw a quadruped went a bit wide. We may have had a battle for a second. Right, just as the 88's coming to pit road. I don't believe that battle for second stayed true as the 17 might have backed. Something happened to the 17, but uh, the 03 is in, and the 17 uh, oh, he is slow. got the short end, whatever that was. Oh, missed the corner. Oh, he went wide. Oh. Yeah, we've seen something he here. Had in, uh, he had a human quadruped, but... Full contact, that's going to cost him a good finish, and uh, he's going to drop all the way down the ninth coming into the pit road, so... Whatever that was, was not a good strategy. I think everyone's coming in this time. I don't think we had anyone... Actually, I think Quadruped stayed out. He's the only car that stayed out. So everyone, I think, has pitted except for Quadruped. Don't hold me on that, but I think everyone is now in pit road right now, which means a very busy pit road. There's Jessica Strauss. Is, she's going to come out on top. Jeff Jordan just had a bad strategy. Uh, the 88's going to have the upper hand here, I think, in that 82. Or not 82, 88. <laughs> Pitting early. Yeah, so, so pitting soon. But they're good enough for fuel, but for those who stay out, we'll see how that all crumbles together. But they can switch it. It might be a way to gain some position in those positions. Yeah, that AD has a huge uh, lead over those guys. It's not the race lead right now, but big lead over the people in her pit strat. Official that uh, pit stop and then the 42 coming out and blocking that 03, who is uh, trying to get into the playoffs right now, by the way. The 03 car is, so uh, he's not going like, to let anything go here, especially him being an Australian native. Definitely wants to make it to the champ four round off of a good run here at his home track. Speaking of Nelson, look like he's being pressured by Jeff Jordan. Got around Jeff Jordan after Jeff, uh, after a slow entry, but Jeff is not done with him yet. Yeah, I mean, he Ooh. came out. Really put the pressure on. And Jeff Jordan ties him more warm with He's going to have his speed advantage. Yeah, Jeff, keep in mind, Jeff has a win at Chicagoland. But uh, don't think that's going to be enough for him in his pocketbook because he is all over that though 3 car right now. Yeah, he's going to have to find a room to pass because he definitely has to speed. Oh, yeah. It doesn't work. It's going to be a little bit more patient here, as I don't think he got quite the run he wanted there. Be a battle of wits here and coming into this corner. 42 is going to enter a little bit lower. I didn't think he was going to dive down in there, but uh, we'll see how that all. Between the two, I think the 03 has got it for. Well, no, 42 is still right there. <laughs> you gonna have to, you going to have to make a chance now as he does send it in deep, as he outbreaks him. Man, it was a lot quicker in that 03 car right there. Passed him with ease. Give me the box and Bradley Ream down pit road. I still don't think Quadruped's pitted. I mean, well, no. Unless he, unless he just came in for a quick gas and dash, but that he would be at least a little bit behind. Well, I don't know, maybe not. Yeah, yeah we not have to see mention, how Clean and dirty air is also a factor, so... I don't know which you want to, which is the better balance between clean air and fresh retires, uh, and also less weight in the car with lesser fuel, which I don't think is a huge factor, but something to keep in mind nonetheless. Yeah, let me check the scoreboard for see what Clutter Pit is. 
Jeff Jordan uh, fifth place that time around. Quadruped is still in the lead. Ooh. It looks like Jessica has caught up to Quadruped on pure pace. Uh, that is not what Quadruped wants to see. Is I'm not sure if they pitted yet in that one car. I don't think uh, Quadruped's pitted yet. I could be wrong, but this is not what Quadruped <laughs> wants to see, seeing Jessica catch up just on raw pace. And less than a couple laps after they pit it. Her tires. So she does have an a tire advantage. Yeah, she's not if she's not being too patient either. Uh, she knows I think Jeff Jordan's a little bit quicker in that eighty eight car. We'll see how that uh comes together. Water pit, if he didn't pit he's on old tires compared to Strauss who pit it like a lap earlier. Yeah, he is on a very <laughs> short he's on the short end of a very long stick right now. If uh, he might have pitted earlier, and I just don't remember, but I don't think he's pitted in that one car. But nonetheless, uh, that 88 car was definitely faster. They just haven't been able to get a good run, find a good place to get around that uh, one car. He has that's allowing the 42 to catch up big time. Uh, this 88 getting held up. Yeah, she's getting held up by uh, Quadruped. The more she says, <laughs> oh, a little bump in the corner there. Oh, they went wide. That's going to help the 42 big time. Uh, it's going to allow the one car to lead again. Yeah, it's crazy BDG's on pit road. Uh, he may have some issues. Uh, he's on a pretty long stop here and already 24th. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I don't think he's... Uh, I don't know if he's getting gas or what, but uh, he's very long stop here for that 13. That could be their playoff hopes. That's not good. And he's one of the drivers, I believe, that's above the cutoff line. Yeah, he came in uh, 25 to the good. Uh, right now, he would be out if he's not able to finish. And right now, even if he can finish, he's not in a great spot either. Uh, came in, um, not sure when he came in, but he's been in a hot minute. Oh, yeah, the one car uh, actually did pit, but I don't think they got tires in their pit stops. So that's my way they're off pace. Whatever happened to Quadro, but he's being pressured at the moment. Yeah, as a crazy BDD, his uh, his playoff hopes are uh, very, very close to being done right now. This one car has held off this 88. Now he's pulling away. We got ourselves a battle for the lead right here. <laughs> An intense one. We have three laps to go. We tried to get Jessica to use up her tires, and he might have worked. And yes, the one car has pitted. He pitted, uh, I think, just, uh, he, if he did pit, it didn't pit very long. He was able to come out. It took him minutes to get to speed. And uh, he's putting that work on to the 88. He, keep in mind, this guy has not won a race yet all year. Quadruped. Playoff driver. If he wins here, he walks off into the championship four with a fresh win. Talk about confidence if he's able to keep, get her done here today. And he's already looking good right now. I mean... 15 to the good coming in. Great, uh, not a good place to come in, but he has clutched so far in that uh, one car. It looks like Quadruped, uh, the crazy BGD. Uh, uh, he is uh, several laps down. Uh, I hate to say it, but I think his uh, championship hopes are uh, pretty much done in that one 13 car. Uh, crazy BGD, he's had a great year. Uh, I, don't, I don't think he expected to get this far. Hasn't won a race yet. Had a great year. He's going to go to a new team next season and see how that goes. Uh, great year for that 13 car. Uh, it uh, ends its way to Bothers, but uh, sometimes you take your W's where you can, and uh, unfortunately got to take your L's as well. But uh, nonetheless, great season. I didn't get a win yet for that 13, but um, keep their head ups for next year because they made it pretty far in the playoffs, higher, a lot farther than I think a lot of people expected them to. Well, we got ourselves a run of the finish. We got a train of cars that are all just on a similar strat right now. Trying, those to, are get, trying to get around each other, seeing who's faster. And passing zones are going to be something to watch. I think that one car may have a little bit better longer in speed right now. We'll see uh, how this pressure goes on. Is, uh, I think we have uh, two to go at the line. Which this track, uh, the patience level is going to be very interesting to watch. I will say. Yeah, now he's slowly pulling away. Strauss had a chance to go for the lead, but it's just hard to pass at this track. Yeah, not to mention Quadruped holding on for dear life there. Uh, he's trying to get a win this season in that one car. 
as well as advance to the championship four, do something I don't think has been done yet. Granted, Bird had a ch or Bird has had a chance to do it, but did not come clutch in either situation. Try to win a championship in both series back to back. Uh, made championship four in both series back to back. Bird did, but unfortunately uh, didn't win the championship in either attempts. And still has no championship in that 18 car, but yeah, keep, don't snooze on him yet. It looks like uh, Crazy BGD is finally calling it quits. Uh, they were trying to repair it, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. It looks like it might have been a mechanical issue, seeing they didn't have a lot of damage on the car. Unfortunate uh, for but them. Drivers that won't get any points. Thanks, X. Well, and so now, accident. yeah, the 20 car is the lowest running playoff driver, and uh, he's not comfortable right now either. That's going to be something to watch as well very closely as uh, I, I can't confirm nothing here but it'll come down to one update points two laps to go here at the map panorama road course the bothers uh, it's been a long one and I think we got ourselves an interesting sprint to the finish but I think that one car is just the slightest advantage on those long run speed uh, this 88 42 or uh, 03 doesn't quite have but the 03 don't deny they They've had a stellar round, and being a uh, Australian native, running top uh, five right now to maybe ch maybe it's champ four, a very strong run for them, especially considered 2021 and last year even when they weren't even considered a threat for the win. And uh, granted, they did get a win in 2021, but no wins uh, this year in that 03 car, and they're going to try to win a uh, championship possibly with that next week if they can keep this going uh, we still got a lap and a half to go here at Bathurst and ain't over till it's over can't say that again yep that one car is slowly pulling away well on the street what's the car for that looks like I think it's just starting to slowly ease in that this one car is faster right now. Quadruped. Yeah, yeah Quadruped is fast on the straights, but try to get some when he gets into the corners. Talk about coming in clutch. Granted, they, they came in on the plus side, but you always want to walk off with <laughs> consistency, and uh, Quadruped is looking in prime form of doing that. A rookie driving like they're a veteran. That is just your pace right there just knowing how to drive the car and come coming in to clutch when it matters and gonna try to do something next week if they can get the win here they're gonna take the white flag uh here at bothers they're gonna try to do something that's never been done before win a championship in both series and back-to-back -back seasons in both series and or back-to-back -back seasons neither have been done before Quadruped has a chance to do it next week if they can clutch here for uh, even the top. Really, I think just as long as they finish here, they are in prime position to do that. And right now, looking in a good spot to finish first, that 48 lap down. Well, he got turned down by nine of weeps. I don't. I wouldn't count his win up yet. Nope. Thanks no for that. Uh, help. Strauss oh, is uh, there. What? 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 What happened? He ran out of gas. Oh, the 07, uh, what? Ran out of gas. That's weird. Okay, so whatever... I guess, uh, is, that the, is that the, was that the finish? I don't think it was, what? So the 07 no, it's, is... It's only the last lap. Oh, that's, I it's guess everyone's... The was, turning up the whole field. That is weird. Um, so, I guess we're going to wait until 07 to run out of gas. Go. Now we're just going to wait for him to call a tow truck here. Um, oh. He's gonna, yeah, the yellow car ran out of gas. I don't know what to do about this. The last lap. What are they going to do? Okay. Everyone's on pit road. That. that uh, I've never seen that before. So, we're going to score the last lap as the finish. Results. Wait, did any car... I want to see something. Who did everyone stop though? Uh, I want to see who's still running. Well, I guess everyone's back going, but uh, regardless of the circumstances, uh, because of whatever that was with the 07, he's going to be um, saying goodbye yeah, to the series anyway. So 
Um, we're going to be counting the uh, last lap results coming to the white flag as the finish because of the Shibaka. It'll say someone else won, which I think it'll be... I don't know who, but... I think probably whoever's going to cross the line first. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be Brandon Nelson, but he will not be scored the winner because the track glitch. So, uh, weird oh. glitch, I will say, but uh, your finishing results are... I'm going to go through them because it was weird. So, it's going to be Quadruped is your winner. Uh, they're going to win. Uh, they're made in championship four. Uh, Jessica Strauss, uh, Geoff Jordan, Brandon Nelson, Sean Ard, um, the 45 of uh, Zevil, then Bar uh, Barney Thrusher III, Joy Paints, 44 Lethal Mortar, and Simeon Box. Um, I'm not going to go through the rest of them. I'm going to have to screenshot it because it's weird. So, that's something. Uh, race is pretty good other than that last lap weird thing. I don't don't think about that. I mean, glad everyone stopped. At least it wasn't no catastrophic like bump in the wall or something. But at the end of the day, it was something. And uh, I think we can confirm a few playoff drivers. Um, I think we can confirm the... I don't know if we... Okay, yeah, I think... I mean, we get the We can't 10. confirm. We cannot... I cannot confirm... So it's going to be between the 20 of Thurn Lux of Gaming, who is the last running lead lap car, and Dark X Rain, who finished 18th. That's going to be close. Um, I don't know how close, but it's going to be close between those two. Or I think it's going to be close. Maybe not. Um... Yeah, because it's going to affect the or not. So, I know for sure the... So, the 20, I don't know, but I think the... Uh... Oh, man, the 13 as well. They're, they're also another one to watch. It, so, I know the 1, I think the 03 are in. But as for the 13 and the 20, uh, I don't know. Uh... I, I don't really. I'm. A, I'll have to figure that out after our update points. But I confirm the 82, the 03, and the one a quadruped will be raised for a championship next week at Carsland Speedway. I'll have to update points to from the rest. Uh, your finishing results are right there. We weren't able to finish the last lap because the game bugged. But uh, earn that. Dark, you got any last thoughts? Uh, I'm kind of stunned that it ended this way. But it's weird. If the last lap, the guys run out of gas, and yeah, we'll just it's, we'll just it. pretend that last lap didn't happen. We'll just say that was the finish. Cause there yeah. was really no other way around that. It was weird. Yeah, cause the way this finish is gonna it's gonna affect who makes the playoffs by. I don't know. It's a tough decision. Well, as for me, Dark X Rain, this is the Cars and Cup Series at Bathurst. It came Mount Per. I can't speak. Whatever they call that mountain. Um, we'll see you next week to decide a champion at Cars Land Speedway. And we'll know who the champ for is by then for sure.